Hi everybody, welcome back to The Modern Surgeon Life. Today, I'm going to talk to you about the wonderful 21st anniversary trip I just had with my wife Stacy up to Destination Kohler in Kohler, Wisconsin. There were incredible spas, beautiful golf resort, a wonderful, beautiful place to stay, great food. There's really a lot to tell you about, so let's just jump in and I'll tell you all about this Kohler experience. For our stay, we chose the American Club which is the signature property on the Kohler Resort. There are lots of places to choose from, but this place really has incredible old world charm. It's on the National Register of Historic Places. It used to be a dormitory for workers at the Kohler factory. And you can see some of the interiors here walking around. It really just exudes old world Midwestern charm. It's a little odd that they ran a fireplace in the middle of summer, but you get what you get. Uh, we stayed in a queen suite in their author's collection. You can see we got the Washington Irving suite and uh, there's some Washington Irving memorabilia on the walls. But really, again, kind of continuing with that old world theme, it was a beautiful suite and uh, awaiting us when we arrived in this lovely setting uh, was a bottle of wine that the Kohler properties had given us to help us celebrate our anniversary. I thought that was a very nice touch. Walking around, there were lots of great things to see. Probably our favorite place was what was called the Greenhouse. The Greenhouse serves coffee and ice cream and snacks and things like that. Uh, it was actually a solarium at H. Jones Hospital in England. It was brought over and restored. Outside the Greenhouse, there were these beautiful grounds. But when you talk Kohler, really you talk golf. And so the Ryder Cup of 2020, which was held in 2021, I think that's gonna make a great trivia question someday. You can see here their conference center at the American Club is decked out in the Ryder Cup regalia. So we can see the trophy. We saw the uh, fans of the United States. Here's the flag of the European Union and the European fans. And that takes us to what we went for in the first place, which was golf. And so we went to the Whistling Straits Golf Course and its uh, clubhouse is also celebrating the recent Ryder Cup. Uh, it's a, a uh, beautiful Irish farmhouse style uh, clubhouse. Here's uh, me teeing off on the Irish course, which was the first course that we played. There are two courses to choose from. We'll talk about the Straits course next. And the That's Irish course, my impression of this was that it was a nice layout. It was fairly forgiving nice as far as golf courses go. It was appropriately green for a course named the Irish course. And here we are uh, taking the cart path around on one of the holes in the Irish course. And you can see the uh, rolling hills and the, uh, the fescue, really a, a links style layout, although not as uh, uh, true links as what we experienced the next day on the Straits course. But you can see what a lovely setting this was for golf and uh, we enjoyed a, a really nice round. I will say the Irish course and the uh, staff at Kohler did um, confirm this later that the Irish course yep. certainly plays a little bit Obviously slower than does the Straits course. The Straits course requires you to have a caddy and I think that helps keep the pace of play. The Irish course does not require that. So Stacy and I didn't use a caddy for this particular 18 hole round and uh, we did spend a, a not insignificant amount of time sitting and waiting for the group in front of us. There are some kind of cool things here, some mist rolling in over the Irish course. We thought that that really lent sort of a, an Irish kind of flavor to it. Again, just one of the lovely uh, tea boxes and you can see Stacy teeing off. She hit a really nice shot to start off this hole. We really enjoyed that Lynx look that the property had. Uh, here's me teeing off on probably my favorite hole uh, of the Irish course, and it was my favorite for a couple of reasons. One, I, I really liked the look of the hole, but two, I actually uh, hit the ball onto the green from the tee box, which is not always a given. A lot of wildlife around. There were wild turkeys uh, on both the Irish and the Straits course. So after our round that first day, we ca came back to the American Club, and uh, this is a view of the library of the American Club. Had, you saw that stained glass window. Then we ate dinner in the Wisconsin room, and I would say this is elevated American food. Um, you can see some of the decor in the Wisconsin room. It was a wonderful place to eat dinner. 
The next day we had some spa treatments lined up and so here I'm in my spa gear and the Color Water Spa was something else. And um, as we walk through, this is their uh, rooftop spa. And I, I couldn't do a lot of videoing around the spa in general for privacy reasons. And I, I appreciate that they did that for us and for others. Uh, one thing I'll say is they had one of the most unique spa treatments I've ever had. And that was the uh, Kohler Cascading Waterfall. So given that it's Kohler, they focus on plumbing supplies and they developed this incredible uh, treatment involving a warm shower and a massage. But once again, we were kind of there for the golf, and so we headed back to Whistling Straits uh, the next day, and um, here we are taking a walk out to the Straits course. You can see our caddies carrying our bag. I've got a lot of video of Stacy on this course, but I wanted to highlight this one in particular uh, because one, it was a very pretty hole, but two, I, I managed to capture her approach shot uh, which unfortunately for her was a little bit off to the right in this situation. She ended up down in this just massive pot bunker. It looked like she was playing out of a well. And the, the course had challenges like this all over, but you can see we were on Lake Michigan. Uh, and that was really, I, I will say, just an incredible highlight. It gave you that feeling of playing in a true links environment uh, in Ireland or Scotland. And we just couldn't get enough of the lake views and the challenges of the holes being on the water. Uh, here I am checking out one of the, the uh, holes leading out to the fairway. And walking between the holes again, we have Caddy carrying our bags, so we're not riding around in a cart this time. We both like to walk better than we uh, like to be on a golf cart. Uh, but there are these kind of goat paths in between all the different holes, and it was such an enjoyable walk. Here we are heading back into the ninth, and you can see the clubhouse and the farmhouse in the background. There was actually a big wedding reception going on while we were there. Great ball. Again, some of the pathways between the holes were as beautiful as, as you could ever imagine. Uh, this hole, I got a great shot from up above because I picked my ball up after hooking two shots way to the left, and so I get this great shot of the green sitting over Lake Michigan. Um, this wasn't so great. Uh, this is the 17th. If you watch the Ryder Cup, you saw Jordan Spieth hit one down by the lake. That was my view uh, looking up at the hole, and this is the shot that I had. Uh, fortunately, I managed to blast this. Unlike Jordan Spieth, I didn't fall backwards uh, towards Lake Michigan. But this is us heading off the 17th, and you can see what a beautiful Midwestern sunset we had. And here, heading off, uh, teeing off on the 18th, I actually just crushed my drive. Unfortunately, I uh, we'll remember this hole forever because although I crushed my drive to the end of the fairway, I ended up chunking it into a ravine. Uh, but this was one of the more beautiful and challenging finishing holes I think I've ever seen. And it was just a pleasure to play and we enjoyed playing with a caddy. Uh, after that, we went up and had dinner in the Irish pub uh, up at the uh, top of that uh, clubhouse. And so you can see this is a view from the inside and it really had a, a wonderful pub feel. And so we wrapped up our day on the straights by watching other people finish that 18th and looking out over Lake Michigan. All in all, it was an incredible anniversary trip and I, I can't recommend Kohler highly enough. So there you have it. That was the experience that Stacy and I had up at Destination Kohler in Kohler, Wisconsin. Again, great hotel, wonderful spa facilities and treatments, outstanding world-class golf, excellent food, just a, overall, just a great place to go spend a long weekend and particularly to celebrate an anniversary. And I'll tell you, everything was great there, but the thing that was the best, and I can't emphasize this enough, was the service. We really felt like the people at Kohler were there to treat us in a special way. And again, I'm, I'm putting this on Instagram and YouTube. I'm not sponsored in any way by Kohler, but they really, really made us feel special. They knew it was our anniversary on check-in. Everywhere we went, Everybody knew it was our anniversary. They gave us free drinks. They gave us special treatments at the places that we went to. And so the level of customer service there was just above and beyond. And I, I just can't say enough for the wonderful people at Kohler and how well they treated us during our, our celebration weekend. It was a big deal to us and they made it seem like a big deal to them. And so if anyone went from Kohler is watching this, we can't thank you enough for helping us to celebrate our anniversary in such a great way. So. That's all I've got for today. If you like this content, if you're interested in more content like this, again, follow on Instagram at Modern Surgeon Life. Follow, uh, subscribe on YouTube at The Modern Surgeon Life, and you can follow on Twitter at Surgeon Modern. 
We're going to be doing lots of different things coming up about uh, diet and fitness, talking with more surgeons about what they do in their free time and, and talking to them about their work. So I think you'll really enjoy that. Thanks again for tuning in. I'll see you later. Thank you.